Okay, so we are now in the adding bracket portion of the module. So if you see this, this comes up automatically, this sphere, okay? Now notice that it first lines up based on the models, tries to line it up pretty well. It dips a little low in the second molars and that's fine. We're gonna correct that. It's pretty well leveled out though. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm going to suggest that you not blindly start moving things around, okay? You can move this in whatever direction you want, but you can get pretty lost without realizing, okay? I'm gonna use the, the back button or hit Control Z on my uh, keyboard and it's gonna reset, okay? So coming over here, you can also use this reset curve this little button. And this button right here is going to add all the brackets. But let's first idealize this curve. What I suggest is that you come down here to the little 3D head guy and click right on the center. Now you can tilt it whichever way. Most of the time I don't have to make any changes here, but this is where you would make those changes. Most of the time I just need to click on the side in the profile and tip it like this, okay? Now, you might want to go just like this and then grab the box and just slide it up. Whatever you think is right. Now, I'm gonna look at the front again, make sure that's still aligned, it shouldn't have changed, and look at the other side, okay? Well, this molar might be a little more in tissue, so okay, I'll cheat up a little bit higher. Okay, all good there, and everything's still fine. Okay, So this is where you set it up the way you want it, and that's done. So now, I'm just going to add all brackets. Be aware that as of the the day I'm recording this video, December 23rd, 2019, we do not have molar brackets in. Um, we will add them eventually. I find personally that indirect bonding for molar brackets is difficult because the trays have to extend so far back that it can be tricky. It's becoming easier, so I think we'll add that soon. It just hasn't been added as of this video. I'm gonna click on add all brackets. Now, I'm going to click on whichever bracket system I want. Right now, we just have three lines of brackets. Um, this is a traditional metal bracket. There's two different prescriptions, the MBT, the Roth, and then this is a, the a self-ligating bracket, okay? It has a little door that slides in, and it's a passive self-ligating for those that you're familiar with passive versus active. This is my preferred bracket type, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. And if you want, you can hold the shift button and deselect teeth if you wanted to for some reason. Say you were going to extract a tooth or, or whatever reason you needed to um, ignore a tooth, that's what you would do. Click Add, and all the brackets are automatically aligned, uh, positioned. Notice something. All of the brackets, the channels in there are lined up to the wire as though they are on the same plane. This might look weird to you when you... Um, uh, I'm gonna turn off the curve right here. I'm gonna hide it so I can see some a little better. If you swing around, you'll notice that there's actually space between the bracket and the tooth. That is there intentionally. The reason that's there intentionally is these brackets are generic. They're based on a prescription um, and the the angles of the channels are all designed from a you know a perspective of all teeth are the same but they're not. So what we're doing by having them just contact the teeth, but not, but no further than that, what we're doing is we're essentially creating a custom bracket pad via cement. Now that sound might sound like, oh, do we want to do that? You don't have to do that. You can reposition these brackets, okay? And tilt them down and flush them up to the actual tooth. But the, po the truth is, is I do not recommend doing that. The whole point is you've aligned the teeth how you want them. These brackets are now straight on a wire, a rectangular wire, and um, now the teeth will end up in this final position. So anyway, that's the purpose. That's why it's doing that. It is fully intentional, um, but you're going to end up with thicker cement on various areas because your goal is to have your teeth line up exactly in this manner. Okay, you can also go through, I'm not, and I'm not going to remove them, but you can add a bracket, you know, just manually. Um, again, I don't need this bracket, but, and there's different ways to um, snap it to the wire. Okay, it lines right up to the wire. Um, you can snap it to the tooth, uh, which is a little bit funky. I, I wouldn't mess with that right now. But anyway, um, for now, that's, that's the point, is 
I recommend just adding them all at once, but you can um, go ahead and, um, I duplicated an accident. Um, you can add them individually if you wanted to for some reason. Okay, so now I just need to go to the maxilla and add the brackets there. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at the front of the face by clicking the yellow arrow. Looks pretty well centered there. Come to one side, looks pretty darn good to me. Let's swing around to the other side. Looks good to me. Now you might think, well, these are supposed to be higher here and these are supposed to be lower. It doesn't matter because the wire itself is gonna be straight. So there is no perfect position um, you know, by measurement by teeth. This is all about relative to one another. So as the wire straightens out, they all straighten to this final desired position. Okay, so let me go ahead and say add all brackets. Once again, I'm going to click the selfie passive bracket line. And here are the brackets. All the bracket channels, if you look, let's turn off this curve. We don't need to see that right now. They are lined up to the wire. They are not lined up to the teeth. Again, that's intentional. If you want, if this bracket, for example, if this bracket was flush to it, as the bracket straightened out, it would torque the root lingually. It would have to. So again, if you want to do that, that's fine, but you would have designed that when you aligned the teeth. You would have said, no, I want these teeth torqued back. Since you didn't do that, the software is going to assume that you put the teeth where you want them. Okay? And at this point, I'm all done. I don't have to do anything, any changes. You can come in here and you can see the measurements, how far away the bracket is from the incised ledge, and you can move, you know, if you need to. But again, those measurements, although they might look weird to you, they might not be what you're normally used to, it doesn't matter because they're all relative to each other being straightened out on this rectangular wire. So there is no, you know, four and a half millimeters, four millimeters, four and a half or five millimeters, three and a half, three, whatever. Those are sort of the traditional measurements. We don't need those for this approach because I keep repeating myself, the brackets are all aligned relative to one another so that the teeth end up in the position that we want them to line up in. All right, so from now, we're just going to go ahead and actually design the tray itself.